Well, here we are, everybody. The last day of filming for the 2011 casting competition. And we're right here at Marty's Outdoor Kitchen. This is my little slice of heaven during the summertime. And I hope you'll join me right here in my kitchen because we're going to be cooking on the grill Oh, and that big thing you see back there, can you see it off in the distance? That's my tent. The weather's just good enough to camp out this weekend. So I'm going to get ready and get in the kitchen and cook you up a wonderful dessert. Thanks for joining me in this last video. So, for our last filming of the 2011 casting competition or dessert video. We're going to do something really easy that we can do right on the grill. It's great for if you're camping or just hanging out on the deck. We're going to do some grilled Philly filled nectarines. First thing we're going to do is cut them in half because we want to be able to get the pit right out of it. Perfect. So we've cut it right in half and you can kind of see the light colored area around here and that's what we want to dig out. So if you have a melon baller or I'm using a grapefruit spoon, you just want to dig that section right out because that's where we're going to put our delicious filling. There we go. See, just like that, pretty simple. We'll do the other half here. Oh, it's so nice out here. I don't know what the weather is like where you are, but we camped out last night and it was awesome. We've been waiting all winter to be able to be out here. Okay, I'm going to cut up a couple more and then I'll show you what we'll do. Now with I've them. cut up four nectarines, so I basically have eight halves and I've scooped them out. <clears throat> now we're just going to mix up some olive oil. We're going to do just a couple tablespoons <clears throat> and some orange juice and we're going to brush our nectarines with this little mixture here. Now you can see I have the grill open and we're cooking up a big old pork butt that's going to become barbecue for tomorrow. I'm sorry you don't get to eat that today. So we're just going to brush some on each of the open sides of our nectarines. And then we're going to place them on the grill just long enough for them to get some nice grill marks to them. So we'll put these four on. Ooh, they're slippery little babies. get these other four and then while they're grilling up we're going to make our stuffing our stuffing is going to be cream cheese and a couple of other great flavors so we'll come right back after we get these grilled while the nectarines are grilling my grill is set at about 350 and I have the lid on it because we're cooking that pork butt we're going to make our center filling and I have about, oh, close to about three quarters of a cup of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to add some ginger, about a teaspoonful. Those are the kids next door. They have a trampoline. They're having fun over there. And we're going to add some brown sugar. Again, just about a teaspoonful. And then a couple teaspoons of cinnamon. This is going to make these really flavorful. We'll mix that up a little bit. And then we're going to sweeten it with a little bit of orange juice again. Just a little bit. I don't know if you can see my mixture here. Boy, these are going to be so good, and they're, again, they're great 
on a warm day like today when you've got the grill going you can just get your dessert made up I'll be taking these camping with me you can be sure I always have all my little spices with me and there's always room for cream cheese in the cooler all right now I'm going to do about half a tablespoon I think but we'll see if we need a little more Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, we'll finish mixing this up and we'll get our nectarines off the grill and we'll get them filled. Isn't this fun? So, our filling is all mixed up and I took the nectarines off the grill. Don't they look great? And we're just going to fill them now with our cream cheese cinnamon, ginger, orange juice filling. We're just going to put kind of a dollop into the center of each one. You don't really have to be overflowing or anything. Some of them have spaces that are a little bigger than others. Okay, we'll get these filled up and then I'll show you what comes next. I'm going to mix up a little bit of cinnamon and sugar just to sprinkle over the top. Top of each one. My husband says I better hurry up with this because the pork butt's never going to cook if I keep opening the grill. <laughs> there we go. And last but not least, I'm going to take my orange juice again and just put some down around the bottom here. I'm not going to I'm not going to pour it over the fruit. Just put some in the pan here so that they don't stick. Now I don't know, maybe you could eat these just the way they are right now. But I want to get them cooked up and soft and let some of this cheese melt down a little bit. So we're going to cover it with foil if it doesn't blow away. Oh, it's a nice breeze. And then we're going to put it back in there on the grill and let them cook for a little bit. I got to get the temperature back up to around 300, which we'll do once I close the lid. Take a look at these beautiful grilled Philly nectarines. Oh, they smell awesome. I can't wait to taste them. So how easy is this? Out here in our outdoor kitchen or if you're camping, big taste. Mm. Oh my gosh. They're creamy and with the flavor of the ginger and the cinnamon, they're perfect. So, I guess this is it. Thank you to Kraft for all your wonderful products and for allowing me this opportunity to bring you into my indoor kitchen all winter and my outdoor kitchen. <clears throat> Thank you to Equal and Miss Paula Dean and to all my friends with the Real Women of Philadelphia. It's been quite a ride and I hope you try my grilled Philly nectarines. Yay! We did it!